this is covered in hair. Hey friendly friends! I wanted to do a quick book review on Everyone's an Alien If You're an Alien Too. It's by Johnny Sun or Jomini Sun. It is a book. It's a book. It's an illustrated book and it's super cute. It's a lot of fun and I wanted to do a really quick review on it because I read it, bought it at Target, and loved it. If you notice the corners, they are chewed up. They are chewed up by my little dog, who had a whole second front row of teeth and three extra canines. Hopefully she stops that because those teeth are removed now. So, Everyone's an Alien, If You're an Alien 2 was a lot of fun. It was very cute, melted my heart. I tabbed a few things. What this book is about is there's this alien, this little guy right here, and he doesn't really fit in with the other aliens. They're actually kind of mean to him and they leave him on Earth and tell him that he has to investigate the humans. So he goes around Earth asking creatures what they are, what they do, or just tell me about yourself. <laughs> he meets a lot of creatures, bears, trees, Bigfoot at one point, I think, beavers, an onion, an egg. It's a great book that applies to life and it's very heartwarming and it encourages you to be comfortable with who you are and accept who you are through an alien who's not really comfortable with himself and through other creatures who aren't really comfortable with themselves. I tabbed a couple of my favorite pages and I thought that I would read them so you could get a little taste of what this book is like. And so the pink tabs are the tabs of things that I just really liked, the purple tabs are things that I thought were kind of morbid, and then the green tab... <laughs> oh, the green tab was me being a little shocked because it's so scandalous. My first pink tab, the tab where I just like it, is he met an onion and this onion is me. <laughs> so the onion says, I'm like an onion. Peel back the layers and you'll see that deep down inside I'm just a smaller, more afraid onion. But you are an onion. I, yes, I, I know, but I'm also, I, now I want to cry. <laughs> That's actually me. I cry all the time and I was like, this poor onion, oh my god. My first purple tab is about the bees. So this bear is highly misunderstood because he's a big scary creature and everybody runs away from him. But he says, what if bees are misunderstood? What if bees don't actually want to sting you? What if bees just want to die? And then there's this cute sad little bee right here. And then I'm not gonna read the whole little monologue that this bee goes on, but he goes on quite the tangent explaining that he doesn't want to die and that it's a really big decision for them to sting somebody because it means that they will die but like they'll do it if it means protecting the ones that they love or something like that this book is so cute like just the images are just cute simple images look at this pumpkin how cute is this pumpkin so this is another purple tap because i thought it was kind of sad. This pumpkin says, every night I have the same nightmare, that somebody is going to cut me open and lobotomize me. In that same dream, my heart has been set on fire. I think it just means I'm afraid of dying. Oh, poor pumpkin. Little do you know. So my next pink tab, the tab that I like, um, is a completely black page. I mean, except for our little alien. So it's nothing that is talking. Being afraid of death is the same as being afraid of nothing. Somehow I'm not comforted. But how can you be afraid of me? I am not made of anything. There are no scary things inside me. See? Now I'm afraid of everything. <laughs> Wait, n no, please do not be afraid. Can you just not be afraid at all? There's a lot of fun pages with nothing. I really like nothing in this book. My green tab, which is just a oh, what tab, was this butterfly and this flower were having an interaction. They were like, everybody just loves me for my beauty. And the flower told the butterfly, like, wow, you really understand me. And the butterfly was like, can I land on you? And so the butterfly lands on him and Johnny comes by. The bees are leaving. They're like, let's go. Bye. B-Y-E. Bye. The bees like spell everything because they're spelling bees. Ha 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 ha. And the flower and the butterfly are screaming and they go, Johnny, could you stop watching, please? <laughs> like, what are y'all doing? It's that intimate. Okay, another purple tab, another morbid tab, is this turkey. Never be sad about the past. It has already happened and you cannot change it. Instead, focus on what truly matters, being sad about the future. But then that morbid page is followed up by um, a pink tab page, literally the next page I have tabbed as well. And it's also the turkey. And he says, 
There are many reasons to be sad. You may be sad because you feel alone. The comforting thing about feeling lonely is that everything that has ever existed also knows what loneliness feels like too. You may be sad because you are sad. It is okay to be sad. But if you are sad because happiness is fleeting, just remember that sadness is also fleeting too. When you are sad, it is okay to let yourself be sad. That is okay. And I think that's a wonderful message to have in such a cute book. I think a lot of people feel like they need to be happy all the time, and that's not true. If you're sad, it's okay to be sad. You can let yourself be sad. And then I have another pink tab. I actually don't want to read it in case you do want to read this. Um, it's kind of a spoiler. If this can be spoiled, it's kind of just like random things, but it's so cute. One of my favorite pages is this page. Everybody's together, and it just looks it's so, uh, I wish there were posters. Like I want the, these pages to be made into posters. Like that page with the turkey saying that it's okay to be sad, poster it, man. And then I guess I should mention there's an activity log in the beginning of the book and at the end of the book. And it kind of captures the lessons that you should take away from each day. And also what I really like is Jomni's uh, map of earth. <laughs> That's earth right there. It's so cute. If I had to give this book like a rating out of five, I would probably give it a four and a half. It's really cute, it's well written, it's a lot of fun, there's a lot of clever little things to pick up on in this. If you liked this short little video, give it a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. Um, if you're not subscribed already, subscribe and leave a comment. If you've read this book, if you've seen this book, if you're interested in reading this book, I'd love to hear what people have to say about it because I had a lot of fun reading it. I'll see y'all in the next video, which will hopefully be turtles all the way down. I don't know why I don't want to review it, I just don't. <laughs> say bye, Izzy. Izzy says bye. She had surgery yesterday, so she's a little tired. A little tired and drugged up. <laughs>